What is up you guys, this is Jose Zaniga from Teaching Men's Fashion and for this week's video we're going to be going over how wooden accessories are changing the game. Now if you're immune to social media and don't have any at all then you wouldn't know how wood has taken over a lot of men's accessories today. And I get questions all the time of what are my thoughts about this and what do I think works. Well in this week's video I'm going to be going over the accessories that I think look great with wood and that I actually think help improve your style and push the envelope a little bit and the accessories that I think are the absolute abomination to men's style and should never ever be purchased. So that's what we're going to be going over today. So the accessory that I definitely think is worth it are sunglasses. So I have some here from a company called Shade Tree. By the way, let that sink in. Get it? Trees give you shade. These shades are made from trees. Genius. Well, apart from the company's genius branding, uh, what I want to talk about is how wooden frames are actually beneficial to men's style. See, I think that wooden frames are actually a positive thing because it gives you that sense of individuality. You know, while 99.5% of the population is still wearing plastic molded shade frame or sorry frame frame shades man I, <laughs> tongue twisted while 99.5 percent of the population is still wearing plastic molded shades you're pulling out your wooden frames so that definitely i feel is an add-on and the fact that you're still getting those classic models you still have the classic wafer you still have the classic aviator just that they're made out of wood. Another interesting thing about wood is that even if you were to get these exact same pair of wafers from a shade tree that I own, we would still have different pairs because wood just naturally, wood grain grows differently. So there, there's gonna be little differences in your pair from my pair. So I actually like that. The thought that my pair is unique and basically one of a kind and there's not gonna be another one exactly like it. So that's another bonus, at least for me, I see it as a bonus. And then on top of that, I also like the fact that, at least from what I've seen, wooden frames are a little bit more inexpensive. So for example, these from Shade Tree, they start around $65 and all are under $100. As opposed to if you were to buy Ray-Bans, you're looking at 165 plus and almost any other major brand, it's usually above $100. So you still get the refinement, the craftsmanship. If you look closely into these glasses, there's still, you see the attention to detail and the craftsmanship in the glasses, but you're getting it at a much lower price point. So like I said, the two that I have here are from a company called Shade Tree, and I'm absolutely in love with them right now. I'll have linked below these two models, and you know what, I'm gonna give one away. So. I have two models and I want to keep one for myself because I really like them, but I also want to give one to one of you viewers. I can't give one to everyone, but I kind of want to just let you experience what I'm experiencing with wooden frames so you can see what I'm talking about. So one lucky of you is going to win one of these and I'll let you actually also choose. So which model do you like best? Comment down below which model you like best and then I'm just going to tally up which one gets commented on more. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna choose a random comment from below and give you the frame so you can test them out and see how great they are. I'll have Shade Tree linked down below so you guys can check them out. Now those are accessories that I believe help men's style. Now here, here comes the abomination of men's style. What you should not ever, ever buy. Um, but in, this, in, a, in a more serious note, these are the accessories that I believe really don't help you out at all. Um, and you end up losing more than you're gaining. The first one, watches. Now I don't know who came up with the genius idea of wooden watches, but in my opinion, and, and I'm no urologist, I've said that before, I, I just like watches, but I don't see how you could trade you know, a beautifully classic leather elegant timepiece or even a masculine metal link timepiece for wood. Like I feel like it's such an uneven trade-off that you're losing more than you're gaining. And then on top of that, I've seen most of the wood models that are out there today, and in my opinion, not only are they ugly, they're chunky, they're really big and bulky and not refined at all, and at best, at best, will look good casually. So you don't even have any versatility. So, you know, 
Wood watch is definitely a no-go for me, but who knows? Maybe down the road, a brand will come up with a more refined model, but today, not impressed at all. Okay, this accessory, this one is my enemy. This is the thing that no man whatsoever, there is no excuse, should ever wear. That is wooden bow ties or wooden ties. These things belong in here. I don't think there's even an excuse or I even have to go explaining why you shouldn't wear these, but honestly, wooden ties or wooden bow ties, definitely a no-go. They're not helping your style at all. So that's it for this week's video, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. I do think there are wood, wooden accessories that help you out, but like I said, there's ones that you should definitely stay away from. So if you like this video, remember to hit up the like up button down below. Also remember to subscribe. We're putting out four, four or five, we're putting out a lot of content every week now, so we're trying to be more constant. So subscribe for more content, so this help us out. Thank you guys for watching.